Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Alia here again. It's time for us to do grade 5 mathematics. And in case you're not feeling motivated, remember the words of Paul Halmos. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. So grab a pencil and a notebook, get settled, the show is about to start. To begin, we're going to recite the song that we learned in our previous lesson which is the parameter song. Of course, that song is being sung to the tune, The Farmer and the Dell. You know that song, The Farmer and the Dell, The Farmer and the Dell, Hi-ho, the area, The Farmer and the Dell. So that's the tune, but the words are a bit different. So for this activity, I would like for you to stand and sing with me. And of course, we'll be doing some actions to this song. So when I say parameter is around, I would like for you to spin. And when I say you add up all the sides, you stop spinning and you move your hand like this to add up all the sides. I'll be doing it with you. <laughs> I hope I don't get dizzy. Let's begin. One, two, three. Permeter is around. Permeter is around. Oh, oh, don't you know? Permeter is around. You add up all the sides. You add up all the sides. Oh, oh, don't you know? You add up all the sides. Did you get that? Let's try one more time. Let's go. Permeter is around. Permeter is around. Oh, oh, don't you know? Permeter is around. You add up all the sides. You add up all the sides. Oh, oh, don't you know? You add up all the sides. Whew. I hope you enjoyed that song, boys and girls. Now let's move on to recap what parameter is. Okay, boys and girls, from that song, you would have noticed that parameter is about adding all the sides. And really and truly, parameter is the measurement or the distance around a plane shape. How do we calculate parameter? Parameter can be found, of course, by adding all the sides, or some persons like to say, by adding the length and the breadth of the shape. For example, if you have a rectangle, remember a rectangle has two long sides, two parallel lines then that run horizontally or two long sides and then they have two short sides which would be two vertical parallel lines. To find the parameter of a rectangle, we add all four sides. To find a parameter of any shape, we simply have to add all the sides together. Let's practice. In this case, we're given a shape that looks like the letter L and we're tasked to calculate the distance around that shape. To calculate the distance, we of course add all the sides. In this case, we add 14 cm, 4 cm, 8 cm, 4 cm, 6 cm, and 8 cm again. And that would give us 4 to 4 cm. Therefore, the parameter for that shape would be 4 to 4 cm. That's what you learned because I taught you that. However, there are instances where perhaps we're not really given the, the entire measurement of the, of the shape and we have to do some critical thinking. For example, if you look closely, there's another shape. It looks like a, a L again, <laughs> but a funny looking shaped L. And at the corner, we have nine centimeter. At the top, we have four centimeter. And at the bottom, we have 12, while at the other side, we have six centimeter. Now, if I were to ask you to calculate the, set, the parameter for that shape, you would, of course, add 4, 9, 12, and 6. But wait a minute. <laughs> There's some parts missing. We don't know the measurement for the part of the shape that has a red line on it, nor do we know the measurement for the part that goes across. That's just above the 12 centimeter. Therefore, we have to do a bit more calculating. It's not difficult. I'm going to show you an easy way. Okay, so to solve for the missing sides, we label them. One side, we label it X, and the other side, we label it Y. If we're going to solve for X, we have to look at the shape 
in its entirety. And if you notice that shape, it resembles a rectangle, meaning that the sides, the, the lines that are at the top and at the bottom are parallel horizontal line and they should be measured the same while the lines that are at the two sides are vertical parallel lines and they too are measured the same. However, the lines that are this way and this way doesn't necessarily need to have the same measurement. That's a square. Remember, a square has equal sides. All the sides are measured the same. But a rectangle, the two longer sides have one measurement and the two shorter sides have another measurement. Bearing that in mind, look at the shape again closely. To solve for x, we must look at the two parallel lines that are vertical or they're pointing upwards. And that would be the 9 centimeter and the 6 centimeter. So if we're going to solve for x, we have to minus 6 centimeter from 9 centimeter. Because you, you remember a uh, rectangle, the two lines at the side are equal. They're equal. Therefore, we can assume that if one side, the entire side is 9 cm, then the other side should measure up to 9 cm as well. And that would be inclusive of the 6 cm as well as the value for x. So when we add x and 6 cm, we should get 9 cm. But because we don't know the value for x, we have to minus. So we minus 6 cm from 9 cm, and that would give us the value for x. And the value for x, therefore, would be 3 cm. And that's because of the vertical parallel lines. Good. If we're going to solve for y now, or to find the exact measurement for y, we look at the lines that are going in this direction. They're horizontal. The perpendicular lines that are going like this. Right? So the bottom line there is measured at 12 cm. Therefore, the measurement for the top should be 12 cm as well. However, because of how this shape is situated, 4 cm has to be subtracted from 12 cm to give us the value for y because 4 cm plus the measurement of y should be equivalent to 12 cm because remember, a rectangle. The two sides at the top should be the same. Okay, we minus 4 cm from 12 cm, and that will give us 8 cm. Therefore, it is safe for us now to calculate the parameter for the entire shape because we know what's the measurement for x and y. So we add 9 cm, 4 cm, 6 cm, 12 cm, and 3 cm, which is the value for x, and 8 cm, which is the value for y. And that would give us 42 cm. Let's try another activity. This time, I'm going to allow you to do this on your own, and then I'll explain. For this task, you're going to calculate the measurement for x, and the measurement for y, and then you're going to calculate the parameter for the entire shape.
Were you able to get this correct? Let's verify. To solve for x, we look at the shape. And again, this shape resembles a rectangle, meaning that the two lines at the top should be equal to the same measurement and while the, the lines at the two sides should be equal to the same as well. So if we're gonna solve for x, we look at the top of the shape there. And if you notice at the top, there's one measurement going up this way, which is four centimeter. And then there's another one just below that, which is, which is 3.5 centimeter. However, let's say both of those lines were on the same level, the four centimeter and the three centimeter. That would give us the measurement for X. So what do we do? We add four and we add 3.5. And when we do that, we get 7.5 centimeter. Therefore, the value for x would be 7.5 centimeter. Now let's solve for y. To do this, we look at the lines that are at the side and that are running vertically. We have seven centimeter and three centimeter. Of course, this side is equivalent to this side. So if we were to find for y, we have to minus three centimeter for seven centimeter. And that would be four centimeter. Therefore, the value of y or the measurement of y is four centimeter. Now it's safe for us to calculate the parameter of the entire shape because we have all the measurement for every side of this shape. So we add three centimeter plus 3.5 centimeter plus four centimeter plus seven centimeter and the value for x, which is 7.5 centimeter and we add the value for y as well, which is four centimeter. And that would give us 29 centimeter. If you notice closely in the answer, I didn't just write 29 and leave it that way. You have to write the unit of measurement that you're using, whether it is centimeter, meter, whether you're using inches or feet, whatever it may be, in your answer, you have to write back that unit of measurement. In this case, our unit of measurement is centimeter. So the answer would be 29 centimeter. That has brought us to the end of our lesson, boys and girls. I trust that you would have enjoyed all that we did today. And I hope that you remember parameter is the distance around. Thank you for tuning in once again. I remember that Paul Hamo said, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Therefore, even though our study time might be over, that does not mean that you have to stop practicing. If you want to be successful at your upcoming exam, you have to persevere, keep pressing on, and practice. Thank you for tuning in once again. Bye!